These days, smartphones can take really good pictures, but with the right editing apps, you can turn out really great pictures. Photographer Natalie Felt is here with iPhone in hand to show us how to edit straight from your camera roll. Great to have you. Thank you. I've been to be wanted here. to tackle this topic for a while yes. because a lot of people, you see a photo, it's just gorgeous, right? And you think for right. sure that was a DSLR, for sure they spent a lot of time in Photoshop, and then you ask and they say, no, it was just my iPhone. Do you right. edit on your iPhone? I do. So my professional photos, I, I keep that to my computer at home, you know, different software. But sure. I was finding there was a big difference between the photos with my professional camera and my phone, and I wanted to bring something, bring it together more so those everyday photos of my kids weren't looking so different than the photos with my camera. So right. I do use it more now to edit. What app do you recommend and what sort of results can we get? So I use Adobe Lightroom. I actually use the same software on my computer to edit the professional photos but it's different than the app so the app's free the one at home on your computer isn't so this is awesome it's free not as many options but you don't need as many for something like this so we're, we're gonna throw up some before and after photos photos that you took on your phone and you right. edited with this particular app as yes. we look at these describe the types of effects you can pull off with editing apps so um, when you take the photo to begin with, it's going to be probably a lot darker. You don't have a lot of control with your camera on the settings. Uh -huh. And so you have a few options with your phone, but not a lot. And so being able to go in and edit that is giving you the complete control to get your photo the way you want it. Ooh, you see a better brightness. Can you affect the crispness or the contrast? Yes, and we're going to get into that. Okay. All of that, yep. And as far as cropping and angling your photo, if you want to make those adjustments, that can also be done. Yes, definitely. Yep. All right, you've yep. got phone in hand. We're going to yes. throw this up on the screen so we can really learn along, literally, yes. if you pull these photos right We're going to dive screen. right into this. So if you'll have to first go to the App Store and add Lightroom. Like I said, it's free. You'll okay. create a login. You can do that. And then from there, you're going to click on your folder, and you can select a picture. Okay. And um, from here, the first thing I like to do is just to dive in and lighten it up. Like you said before, lightening it up makes that big difference. So uh -huh. I'm going to increase my exposure. Right there is going to make a big difference. You I'll, could already see the brightness. Yes, come to exactly. Life. How do you know when you've gone too far on an editing technique like that brightness, for example? So for one, I mean, you can kind of just look at it and see if you're losing the detail in your photo. You know, if the whites are just too bright and you're not seeing that. Okay. But what you can do right here, which is what I love, is you can tap on your photo anytime, uh -huh. and it's going to show you that before and after. Uh -huh. So you can right there see, okay, am I going too bright? Is mm -hmm. it, you know, where am I on that scale? Mm -hmm. so so, I mean, with this, I always like to increase my contrast a little bit because I like to see the definition in my photos. But if you like more of the light and airy look, then you can um, just, you know, bring it the other way. But the thing about this app that's so great is you can adjust all of these on the same screen. You're not going in and out. Gotcha. Of those settings. That can get confusing. What did right. I do? What's my next step? Yes. But I do have that gut check of just being able yes. to see the you original. Go, then you know, because you want it to still forth. look true to life. You right. don't want to alter right. things so dramatically that it looks like a fake photo. Yes, okay. and that's why I love this so much. A lot of apps are going to give you these filters, and I feel like it doesn't look as natural. Yeah. So having the complete control to manually change it is going to you know, help you make it look the way you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. A um, couple more things, oh, we'll scroll back over here, is with this, um, you're going to find that your photos aren't always going to be straight, right? It's uh -huh. hard always to get that lined up. So another, Especially when kids are moving and yes. affecting that straight line shot. Yes, and the background. And so yeah. something I love is you go into here to the crop tool, and you're just going to click on this button right here, uh -huh. and it's going to straighten it out for you. Uh -huh. That's going to take out the guesswork. And, okay. Um, so again, just something that, that I love. If you ever want to go back, there's this arrow on the top of your screen. You can just click that, and it's going to go back one setting. So you're never... You're you're never committed to a change that you make. You can yes. always backtrack. Yes, and the thing that's so great about this too is if you edit your picture and maybe a year from now you think, you know what, I my editing style's changed and I want it to be different, you can go back and you can always go back to that original photo no matter what. Okay, all right. So that's a great option. Let's talk more about the colors. Is there anything else we can do to the color to enhance yes. what we're seeing on the screen? There is so much you can do and I love that. So. Let's see here. Let me go into our color option here. So white balance is a big thing with photography, and that's when we're talking about white balance, we're usually talking about skin tones. Mm -hmm. Lights inside or out are going to affect if our skin's looking more warm or if it's looking cooler, on, more on the blue side. Okay. So you can come in here and you can do as shot. You can do an auto option. So that's an easy place to start. But right here on this top one where you see temp, I like to usually warm up my photos or cool them down, and you're, right then you're going to see that big difference, you know, whether uh. you, know, you need to warm it up or cool it down. Another thing that I love so much is this little eyedropper tool right here. Mm -hmm. You're going to click on that and you're going to drag this around to the lighter parts of your image and you're going to see how it's going to warm it up or cool it down. Oh, so you and can test it even before you apply yes, the action. Yes, exactly. And then again, you can always, you know, go 
back and forth mm -hmm. to see the before and after. Mm -hmm. So I know when you're getting your photo professionally taken, a lot of times photographers will sweeten up the whites of your eyes, maybe your teeth color. Can you right. can you do that in this app as well? You know, this app I wouldn't use to get into those very very details. It's not giving you as much much control. If you pay to have more options with the app, you can. Okay. Um, of course, on the software on the computer, you can do all of that. But this is more for you know the overall of the photo. But you can get in and change the specific colors that you want. Mm. So if you're thinking the reds there are just a little bit too bright, you can click on the mix button here, click on your reds, and you can adjust if the reds are looking brighter or, you know, if Got you want to bring them down a little bit. Can you manually crop or change the size of a photograph? Yes, you can. And again, going back to that, um, you can click on here. To, you can choose any of these sizes. You can customize it. You could do, you know, maybe your one by one square if you're doing it to Instagram or something like that. So okay, awesome. all of those options. And cool effects. Can you add like the black and white or do different vignettes like that? Yes, you can. Um, we'll go back over here. Let's go out of this screen. Um, they have your... Right here, you have a black and white option. Mm -hmm. Again, this is great because with some of those apps, they're going to give you like one black and white option. But because you can change all the colors and tones, you can make your black and white have more grays or more of that contrast with the black and white. And I know you said one so, detail you love is the detail tool. What yes. is that? So let's come in here. You're, you, with this, you can, so you mentioned the vignette earlier. I'll touch on that real quick. Okay, sure. So you can lighten up and have a lighter vignette, or you can have the darker and have your eye bring into the center of the photo more. But the thing that's great is you can do a little bit or a lot. You don't have that drastic, huge vignette, right? Like you would with a filter, for example. Yes, exactly. And then to bring that back, you can change the clarity. You can sharpen up that photo mm. for printing or posting or something like that. So there are so many great options here. All right, the name of the app again is? Is, is Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. I will be and trying this. And I do want to show you one more quick sure, thing please. because this is my very favorite. Oh, You're going to love this the okay. very most. So you click on here. There's these three dots at the top. You're going to click on that and you're going to scroll down to copy settings. Okay. So you're thinking this might take a little time, right, to edit each photo. You're going to copy those. You're going to scroll over here. You're going to come down and you're going to click paste and it's going to put in those settings. Automatically. Now, you might still want to change a couple little things, but pretty much it's going to get you really close to where you want to so be. So super helpful if you've taken a bunch of photos in the same setting, you can just kind yes. of fast apply those yes, settings exactly. that you've created. It's going to save you so much time. Nice. All right, yes. Natalie, thank it's you so much. You not only edit beautiful photos, you take beautiful photos oh, as well. You. Where thank can you. we get more information about your work? So my website is www.natalieveltphotography.com. And I'm sure booking up with holiday photos, family photo sessions. Yes, it's been so fun. I love it. Thank you so much for teaching us. We appreciate it.